So I currently have the privilege of having a 2003, a 2005 and a 2006 rest of the world's paid defender in the same place. So what I thought I'd do is dig in a little bit about some of these differences that I've talked about in a different video. This one's the 2003 one. Okay. Now these have got about 300,000 miles, uh, 300,000 kilometers. So we're talking about mm, approaching 200,000 miles. This one's a station wagon. Uh, 2003, it's got the older type of older type of um, seat box padding on there. This one's well worn, obviously you can see in here. Got some aircon. The uh, I think the speeding might be a bit broken, but um, let's test the gear stick. That gear knob's very loose. Bit rally. Yeah, a bit rally. Steering wheel's seen better days. Bit of play on the steering. Oh, interesting. It's like it's on permanent ignition. That's weird. Seats have seen better days. So we've got essentially the square doors, because this one's a 2003. <coughs> and so this was what I was talking about with, we've got the, the galvanized inner wheel nut, and these are the brake pipes. So you've got the female uh, coming down the brake pipe here, going into the male that is the flexi pipe on there. Because um, this is post 2002, we've got these chassis, we've got front anti-roll bar mounts, we've got the extra reinforcement in there. And if we look all the way underneath, you might just be able to see there's the P38 axle there, because this is a 2003 model. This one's actually, so this was built, this one was built on the 18th of March 2003. We come on over to the 2005 model. There we go, so you can see there, the, um, so after 2004, so this is a 2005 vehicle, there we have the, the male from the solid pipe going into female on the flexi pipe. So that's a bit of a change there, and we've still got the galvanised inner wheel arch. We have the rounded doors on the 2005 model. Somewhere in 2005 these started. This one's also battered, broken on the door locks. This one does say 350,000 kilometers. That's about 210,000 miles. Also worn out on all the floor here. Doesn't have aircon. Doesn't have aircon. But um, it, uh, this was a hard top. It's quite wow. Well, that's quite a crunchy gearbox. It's very stiff to get in. Yeah, interesting. That seems to be a lot stiffer than the, the other one, a lot more grindy in its actuation. Yeah, underneath we've got helper springs, but look at the state of that chassis. That's the original paintwork. That's the, just the amazing thing about dry climates you get here in Africa. Unreal, may even be the original exhaust, you never know. Let's go and look at the 2006 model. 2006 model! So there we go. This one's also a station wagon. Had a hard life. This one. But similarly, no corrosion whatsoever. Help springs. This one's got an extended fuel tank as well, but that's not a standard fit. This is where we see the main difference yet again. I'll get me get me phone out. So here we go. There is plastic. In a wheel arch. Same sort of brake pipes there, so that's what we've changed over. That's the 2006 uh, difference. This one's also got aircon. Just what that pipe's for there. Incredible chassis. Incredible. So, this is what the plastic inner arch looks like. These bloody plastic bits on here just get totally trashed by people. I found that in Belize as well. <laughs> Does not have the same action at all as the one I found in Afghanistan. Look at these door seals. They're pretty, uh, 
past their best. But this one here also got the the seat box matting, which the TD5s um, had the big enclosed matting, but the rest of the World Spec Defenders always had this one, which is basically the same as the 90s era, 300 TDIs. It's come all the way through. Um, so yeah, that's the, probably one of the unique things about the rest of us better vendors is this matting is the, not something that was never upgraded. Also got aircon. Hmm, it's also broken. On there, let's feel the gear stick. That is smooth. That one's got a very positive action. Um, oh, there's a sticker up here, so it's got 340, about 345,000, so about the same as that other hard top. But the gear change on this one is amazing, compar comparatively. A bit of corrosion down there, which is unusual to see, and under here as well, for a 2006 model, particularly in this environment, but um, yeah, that's the kind of use you get out of these vehicles. Lest we forget the rounded door tops. But in terms of corrosion, I mean, this is the sort of stuff, look at this, this has been here like at least 13, 14 years. Look at that for electrolytic corrosion. Exactly. Bottom of these doors, you get a lot of wear and stuff like that. So look underneath. Excellent chassis. Another excellent chassis. Oh god, this is so depressing. This is so bloody depressing. Wheels, wheels are a bit muddy, but they've still got the paint on them. Ah, oh, it just makes me, ah, oh, it's just, yeah, so depressing to own a Defender in the UK and you come places like this and see these vehicles and they're just unbelievable, unbelievable. Land Rovers are just, Defenders are not built for the UK, they really aren't, they just, they just work so much better in this environment. But there we go, I hope you enjoyed that video. Just some of the differences I've talked about in another video that I can actually show you in person, a 2003, a 2005 and a 2006. Just a few of the different parts, differences on these vehicles. Thanks for watching, bye for now.